you are conscious that you are doing good deeds every day for the sake of God. It's exactly the same. It's just okay. Yeah, we are in, we're told to do good deeds as Christians because we're told to love all. Yes. Yes. That's not dependent on our salvation. Yeah. But your understanding of your good deeds is how you get salvation. No, that's not my understanding. I just told you I could be the best human being. I've done everything perfect. Okay, so it's not even that. Well, okay. I, sorry. I'll, I understand that now. Thank you for explaining. Yeah. So even if you, it's so your salvation is not dependent on your good deeds. It's dependent solely on the will of Allah. Yes. We're okay. Um, so it's basically me trying to get closer to God by. But you have no idea if you've achieved that. I, I have no idea. That's why I would know. In the day but why? Why would you follow a God that? You could do everything you think is right, you could pray the five prayers a day, you could go to a mosque, you could, you could do all these things and then be sent to hell afterwards. Because it's totally depending on the will of Allah. Yeah, because we don't know God, we're God, be God look, we, we, believe, we believe in attributes of God. Right? Oh, One of them is we don't want to take a risk. Yeah, and he's, he's the most judge, judge he's, the, he's the fairest of, of them all. So when he comes to judge us, right, he knows my intentions, he knows the actions I've done and so on. So if I live my whole life trying to get closer to him, and he's, ju he's just, I believe that he's going to have justice on me and, and put me in heaven or hell depends on what I deserve. Okay. But I don't know, man. I, I find that really shaky ground. Because There's, the problem is yeah. with salvation, and mm. I'm sorry to mention this. Mm. War with someone like uh, Hitler. Go. Oh, sorry. War with someone like Hitler. Go. Like he, he did all these terrible things mm. and then died. Well, this right? is the thing. Could he have done all those things and still maintained his uh, status as a disciple of Christ? So no. you're saying that that Hitler, if he said I'm Christian, but did all of these things, you would say he's not Christian? I would say he's not a Christian. Yes. Now, you have to be careful here, because Hitler in his book Table Talk, which is the secretary writing notes of what Hitler said in his uh, dinner parties, basically, he said he actually valued, the, in his words, uh, the Mohammedan religion more so than Christianity. Hated the Jews the most and then followed by the Muslims. No, he, th he thinks the Muslims are higher. He doesn't like Christians because they're weak, in his words. Oh, okay, I, I don't know. He, so he yeah. No, not in any sense. He didn't like Christians. But, but he, is a, he is a leader of a Christian country. Yeah. No, Germany was a Christian country at the time. So the troops would have wore Christian symbols, right? But he himself, as the leader of the state, was not a Christian. He, had, he didn't like Christianity. He was open about it. Well, privately, he was open about it. And he valued the Islamic religion more because he saw that as a more masculine religion that was closer to what Germanic values would have had at the time. A more muscular religion. Which is yeah, wrong. that's how he saw it. Yeah, well, so he so thought Christianity was weak. Well, what, 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 you can read Table Talk yeah, uh, if you want to find them. Well, yeah, I, I think that's probably probably true. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but I get it. I was oh, once God. She no worries. Can I shake hands? Have a nice day. And by the way, just like about this love thing you mentioned, because I need to tell you this. Sure. We believe in certain Thank attributes you. of God. Yep. One of them is also the most loving. Yes. Right? And we believe that if you really are true Muslim and you need to, and you're following the teaching of God, mm -hmm. you have to also love your neighbors and you have to love. I understand how that makes sense. What I would say to you though is I think it's clear from Scripture, uh, your Scripture, that Allah does not love the unbelievers. Yeah, so he has course, no love for me. Of course, if uh, no, 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 the unbelievers are those, the ones who are against God. Are you against God? I am against the Islamic understanding of God. Yes. If someone right yeah. now who's not doesn't believe in any religion mm. comes in now and says that all of this the Bible is bullshit and burns mm. it in front of mm. you, would you still love them? Yeah. And that's the part where I think is a bit hard to digest because. Honestly, I okay, think there's but a difference between the city and the that, that makes sense, but I want to point out that you've just contradicted what you said earlier when you said that Allah is the most loving. Because I can conceive of a God that is more loving. And that God would be the God that loves the it's unbelievers. The same God. Like this, making this distinction is really like taking but, but see, the okay, so a few steps back, honestly. It, well, I think Our it's... Our God and your God is the same. Let's just start with from this. But yeah, but that is an insult both to you because my, I say my God in his humanity died on the cross. You understand that? Our understanding yeah. of mm. what this God is mm. can be different. You right, so it's think, not the you same. Can, you can think he died on the cross. Right. I can think he never dies. Okay. This is different understanding. Don't have a but there's only one God. In his humanity he died. In his spirit he lives. Because his spirit is eternal. He is the living God. Yeah. And I can have a different understanding. Oh, it doesn't fine. mean there are multiple gods. Well, I, none of us believe that. <laughs> yeah. you, you could say it's blue, I could say it's yellow. Right, right. It doesn't mean that there is multiple trees. You right. just see it differently. Okay, I, I totally get that. Yeah. But I think that Allah is not the most loving because I can think of a God that loves all, including you. 
You need to understand from my perspective, God does not prove it. Like how is God how is Allah is not the most loving? Because he doesn't love the unbelievers. Like I can find you quotes in the Quran where Allah makes it clear he doesn't love the, the he's unbelievers. Angry at them, yes. Yeah. Because in, in the Islamic view. You, know, yeah. you said something nice earlier, you said there's these actions that God gives us that mm. will multiply your reward. Right? Okay, yeah. Why did you think God made those actions? Why did God give us this opportunity? He gave us this so that those unbelievers, if they repent to God, they shall have a way to get closer to Him faster and try to seek their way to God. So that means He loves them still. It doesn't mean because like He loves them, right? They now are doing something wrong, but because He loves them so much, He gives them an easy way to go back to Him. That's okay. why that the repentance and mercy is always open, because He's not just the most loving, He's also the most merciful. I'm sorry, I'm not talking too much. Oh, okay. okay, no worries. Uh, can I end it real quick? Sure. Okay, um, so what I would say is uh, that those who commit shirk is an unforgivable sin in Islam. And by that standards, I have committed shirk because I'm a Christian. Do you know why? I assume it's because you have to hold high, uh, Allah in the highest respect and to associate partners with Allah is the yeah, gravest but, of but sins. Why is that the biggest sin? Because it's a, an affront to Allah and it's a direct affront Allah to Allah. Do you think that's the only reason? Well, it's all I would imagine. But unless so you tell the me reason why this is above the all other sins, mm. like it's, it's even more severe than killing another person, is that when you associate partners to God, mm. you have multiple sources of truth. And if you have multiple sources of truth, you don't have objective morality. You have multiple Versions oh, we see, of see that. So if you if you have multiple gods, mm. then if what of these gods contradict each other, which one do you believe? Uh, I absolutely agree. I think that makes complete sense. Yeah. What I will say though is that it's clear that that's not the intent because it makes it clear that I, as a Christian, yep, the, the, the intent, but if, it, it makes it clear in the Quran that as a Christian, if I don't affirm Muhammad and I don't affirm he's the final prophet, yeah, the seal of the prophets, if you don't affirm the message of Muhammad, right? Then I've committed shirk because now I am following a different god. You gods, could be yeah? someone who lived way before Prophet Muhammad. You could be someone who lived after. Prophet Muhammad but on a deserted island, right? As long as you follow and worship the one God only and that is the message of Prophet Muhammad, it doesn't have to be exactly this. If you got exposed to it, then it should be this. But if you didn't, when you were on a deserted island, when you lived before him, and you worship the only God, you shall go to heaven. That's what our understanding Okay, okay. I'll tell you what, let's, should we leave it at that? Because I think you are. Do you want to leave it at that? Are you guys yeah, sure, sure. going to go sorry, through? I, don't wanna, I know that you're filming and I don't want to interrupt your filming. So have, right, have a good day. Take care. Cool, so I had a chat with a very nice uh, Muslim gentleman and we were talking about what it means to be loving, what it means for God to be loving. He said that he thinks that Allah is the most loving because it's one of his attributes. I pointed out that according to the Quran, Allah does not love the unbelievers. And because of that, I can conceive of a God that is greater in love and that God is Jesus Christ. God, of the Christian God, fully affirms the perfection of love, agape, the greatest love. Whereas the Islamic God does not affirm that because the Islamic God does not love unbelievers. It's as simple as that. I hope that man genuinely reflects on what he believes and I hope he comes to understand the beauty of the gospel and the beauty of the true living God, Jesus Christ. Amen.